Okay, thanks for stopping by guys. Today is part two of getting that compressor fitted into the back of the Pajero. Uh, any questions, feel free to post up and let me know. I'd really be interested in hearing from others who have put it in this position. Certainly a post on Facebook uh, and the guys were saying they've had it in there for years, it's worked well, no problems. We'll still think about getting around to doing those fans, but that may come at a later date. Again, this is a pretty big job. Uh, Apologise guys, uh, it is windy today, it is windy AF. Uh, so the audio hopefully is still going to be okay on this. I do have the wind sock on etc But it may be a little bit rough, but realistically you come to this channel for ideas on the Pajero and stuff like that rather than Audio quality so fingers crossed it's still okay now. We're basically doing the wiring So what I've gone and done is ran the, the new heavy gauge wire from front to back. Okay, so we're at the front We're just going to go down through The same hole that we've gone through with everything else. So it's really getting a little bit tight down there because this wire is so stiff, I'm kind of hoping that I don't need to you know, worry about trying to get a coat hanger and pull it through. I should just be able to push it through. Other than the size, it should be reasonably easy to work with. I think we've got room. I need to be careful here because this is so thick, it's pretty strong. Uh, and there's a lot of delicate wires on the other side of here. So if I push too hard and I engage with one of those, the thing's got no give, so it'll just push straight through and bug us on. Okay, so we have the cable through the front. So what we need to do now is to get it, so what we need now to do is to get it to the back. So just lift this foot panel here at the front. And what I'm also gonna do is just grab this kick panel here and just pull back towards me and that'll just pull straight out. So there is just a clip on it there. So that just basically allows us to get access to this carpet and lift it up and then run our cable under there. So obviously we need to route the main line uh, through the passenger side and then out the back. And that wire down here is going to run down beside the passenger seat under the B pillar trim into that footwell at the back door. So I'm just going to push this down in under the carpet and try and get it to match the profile as good as I can because it's again heavy duty wire that. I'm actually going to pull this foam piece out. There is a foam piece on the floor here. And if you're gentle with it, and there's a couple of clips, and you can pop that out. And then there is a little plastic uh, piece here. We're going to lift that up, just a couple of screws in it, and we're going to run our wire under that. Move that foam piece, which normally sits here. You would have seen that if you saw the install of the uh, lockup kit from M&M. So what we're going to do is there is a little plastic piece that you can see here that has all the wires run under it. Just to help us get that profile and to stop having to fighting with this wire, just gonna undo those screws there. That one's got a bit of rust on it. Gonna undo those screws, lift that up, and then we're gonna route that wire under it. So gonna make it this a little bit easier to get it to fit that profile along that section. So there's your wires running through there. Unfortunately, one of those bolts is rusted for me, so I can't get it out. So I'm just gonna have to bend that up and run the wire through that now. And just to try and give you an idea of that routing, so once I put this back in, into place, so the wire is basically going to be running under this, you can see it sticking out this there, goes up, and because it's so stiff, what I've done is just hooked it behind, I don't think you can see, but there's a connection there for the panel where it hooks on, you can see I've just routed it behind there, just to keep it in place. You can remove this centre piece here, uh, which is I guess the B pillar, I think, between beside the passenger seat. Uh, but what we should be able to do is just slide the cable underneath from the front and then pull it out where we pull it out basically uh, at the back door here um, where we took out that original kick panel there uh, that original footwell panel there so we'll see how we go we want to see if we can get it through this section here between the two doors and then once we do we'll pull it through we'll basically get it to its destination and then we'll worry about folding under the carpet and all that sort of stuff inside the back door this is where we took the step panel out. So there's a bit of foam under there. So what you can do is just lift that carpet up. Lift that foam up. You can take that foam piece out. Now careful not to break it because it is form fitted. And you can see here's our old wire that we've ran here. And you can see the sort of space we've got. So what I'm trying to do is just feed that other wire 
through there so it comes out here and then I can grab it and yank it and we can start to route it up under those other panels. So hopefully you can see that there. There's our cable. It's our cable that we're running. So I just need to grab that and just pull it through, give myself enough length to get it to where we need to go. And that's how you do it, not that hard. Now one issue I did have originally when running this, even this smaller gauge wire through this footwell here is, this is where the clips for that panel pop in. You've got the foam piece that sits under here, uh, and then your other panel pops in here as well. Uh, and you can see we've actually left one of the clips there, we'll need to get that. Um, so it actually pops into these holes, and when you've got this here, this wire running through here just makes it little just makes it a little bit more challenging to get that panel to sit in and it's never quite sat right for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wire and we're gonna go up there. We're gonna go up out of that footwell altogether and then we'll just loop it back and come up there. So we've run that main wire. All I'm gonna do now is just pop that panel back off again and just so I can work with that wire and get it fitted in and get it mounted where I want it so it's in there any other way. Okay, come in here. Just run that main line up there from that door. We're just going to go up under that line there and just take it back near our compressor there. I mean, little mate wants to come up, but he can't come up. No, no, there's no room, bud. There's no room, buddy. You have to stay out there. Oh no. Got that wire in. I'm just cable tying it following this harness here. Just following the profile of the wheel arch, and that will tuck in there. I haven't tightened this last section up here because I'm bending it through that panel there and you'll see I'll just put some of that split conduit on it anywhere it's going to be passing through the panel because it was rubbing on that and we don't want to obviously cause a short. I've taken it down there and just up out the back here. Now it's not actually going to be staying there where it's actually going to be going. I'm going to be pushing it in to the back of that panel. And I don't know whether you've noticed but there are some pieces of foam in there so we'll make sure we squeeze it in between that foam so it doesn't cause a rattle. What I want to do is bring my feed wires in down here. What I'm going to need to do is feed them down there, bring them up there, make that connection and then I can push it all back in behind that panel so it's down and out of the way. Now this is really heavy gauge, it's probably going to handle something like a couple of hundred amps. We're going to go into the splitter here, the splitter is going to go into the, lo the lower gauge stuff which is still capable of handling about a hundred amps give or take for all the connections from there so we're going to have so from this point here, we're going to have a connection that's going to go to the DC-DC charger. We're going to have a connection that's going to go to the compressor itself. And then we're going to continue on the connection from the front to the back to the Anderson plug, which is going to run to the DC-DC charger in the caravan. And that's going to run the little Ridge Rider 20 amp DC-DC charger that we fitted in there. So effectively, we've got the one line coming from, the one heavy duty cable coming from here, going into the splitter, and the splitter is going to go to all those three different points. Now, for those amongst you who are safety focused you're going to be thinking about fusing i'm not going to fuse it at the front in relation to the the current capabilities of this main wire it's going to be fused for the capabilities of the smaller wire so what i'll do i'll fuse it for the smallest gauge wire that i've got in that circuit we'll we'll fuse it for the smaller gauge uh, so if there's any issues there we won't have any problems and we'll be safe just really using utilizing this wire because we've got it uh, we're going to avoid any voltage drop etc etc and I've got the wire, I might as well use it. Anyway, that's it. Thanks very much for stopping by. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.